everybody, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart, and in this video today, I want to share with you a resource that I've selected for both my second grader and my kindergartner. It's from Evan Moore, and it's this reading skills sharpener um, resource, and I'm super excited to show you a little bit more about what's in it and why I chose it. So if you're interested in looking a little bit more into this resource, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, this is a resource that I have picked for both my kindergarten or my preschooler and my second grader. They have six levels, uh, well seven I guess, because it's preschool up through sixth grade of this skills sharpener reading resource. And Evan Moore has just recently put out, well I guess it's not that recent, um, but they put out a bunch of these skills sharpener resource books and I've actually gotten a couple of them. I'm really excited about those. So I just wanted to show you a little bit into this book so you can see um, what it is that you're getting if you choose to get a resource like this for your kiddo. Um, a couple of really cool things before I flip the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so first, I really love that it's full color. If you're new to my channel and you haven't ever seen any of my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of color pages. I want there to be lots of color in my book. So this is full color and I love that it's all um, color coded or separated. Each unit is separated by code. I don't know if you can see this very good, but there you go. See how each each unit is grouped by color so you can kind of um, tell where you're at or your students at or whatever just based on the color of the page that it is so I really love that number two that I really love is that it's not just reading comprehension now I've gotten a lot of resources off of teachers pay teachers that's just strictly reading comprehension read the passage answer the questions and I do love those resources but I'm really excited that Evan Moore has created more um, language skills in in this actual resource so that you're not just doing read the passage answer the three questions but based off of that passage they've then developed additional language arts skills um, that you can put in there so for example here's um, find the rhyme and then these are words that are in the story and then you put the rhymes on there these are connected to the story um, and you want to put a word in the poem to name each picture so it's got some vocabulary um, resources in there so uh, anyway so I love that that it's not just reading comprehension but it then goes into some language skills as well um, there are let me see if I can count really fast oh man I didn't count before so let me just count here on the screen with you one two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 you can hear my birds there they're very chatty today we just barely got birds so Usually they're not this chatty, but I guess they're excited that I'm in here talking to you. Anyway, so what did I say? 12. There's 12 um, actual stories in here. This is the second grade one. I know I keep showing you pages, and I'm going to flip it around so you can see, but this is the second grade level, and they're... It's almost bad as having kids, right? They're so loud. Um... Okay, so let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you. I've got the second grade one, and then the preschooler one is uh, alphabet, but they've got lots of fun activities that go with it. They're like cutting and pasting type activities, um, but it goes with the alphabet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you both, whoops, both, so that you can kind of get an idea of what it is that we're looking at. So let's turn the camera around and I'll talk a little bit more about these. All right, so here I have my two um, levels. We're gonna go ahead and start with the pre-K level just so that you can kind of see. And I won't, I'm not gonna show you every single page, but you're gonna get a good idea of what kind of good stuff is in this um, resource, okay? So, oh, I, was, I thought there was a table of contents. It looks like I might have ripped it out on accident. Anyway, okay, so they're just alphabet. It goes through the alphabet, obviously, because it's preschool level, but this is a fun cut and paste page. Each activity or each letter has four activities, so this is a fun um, maze type thing. It's just pencil practice and then trace your letters. Um, now we're moving into just more like skill set, so this is draw the lines, what's night and what's day. It rhymes with bat, so again, you're not just doing alphabet practice, but you're doing some other language skills. And then it moves over to the letter R, okay? And again, you have four activities. Notice that this page here is um, intentionally blank so that your student can cut this out. You don't have to duplicate the pages. Love that. 
So here we go, here's letter R. Again, it's the same kind of activities. Here's some shadows, this is a rabbit, this is what um, the rabbit sees. And then we're moving on to letter F. So all of the pages are similar um, in whatever, the activity type things, but they're super duper cute. Love the colors. Oh, this is a skills one. So kind of a practice testing test type thing. See where your student's at. Anyway, so it's just really cute and it's going to go along really great with my second grader who is also going to be working on his reading pages. Now his are obviously a lot more advanced, so I'm going to flip over and I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, here at the back of the book, I just wanna show you really quick, you have a tracking form. So you can give this to your student and let them either color it in or if you have stickers, you can do like a sticker chart, um, just kind of as a reward system for how much they're completing. And then of course, there's some answers in the back if you feel like you need to have a refresher on that. Um, I don't see that you might need that, but there you go if it's there, okay? So again, these are the skills sharpeners and the reading. You can see they have pre-K through sixth grade. <clears throat> now let me come over here and show you, <coughs> excuse me, let me show you the second grade. I'm super excited to use this uh, with my students. So let me show you really quick the table of contents here. You'll notice that each of these, um, whatever, stories are gonna be interesting for your student. The missing apples, may I keep her? Um, and then when you come over here, I wanted to show you down here, they've got um, a visit to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And this is actually, when we get there, I'm gonna show you, but this is like a, a nonfiction, I guess. Is that what it's called? Gosh, I'm not very good at that. But okay, so you can see here that they've got um, comprehension, fluency, vocabulary, grammar, writing, and phonics that are all gonna be practiced within this unit, okay? Then with my dog, Max, you're gonna get comprehension, vocabulary, grammar, and phonics. So like I said before, this is not just read the story and then answer the questions. It's really comprehensive and that's really interesting and really cool to me, okay? Let me show you some of these pages. The length of this story, um, this is kind of the words that your student's reading. And just to, so you can see if it's at the level of your student. Love the colored illustrations, that's always fun. Um, and then they have this little like after you read, it says practice this page, make it sound like the people feel. Happy, excited, sick, read the page to an adult. So I like that because then it, you, you know, you're not just reading the text, you're trying to put some inflection in your voice. Okay, here's your standard reading comprehension questions, so they do have that. But then moving on, you're gonna have, find the words in the story and write down what those words are, so it's kind of some spelling going on there. This is gonna be um, sentence or order of the sentence, or of the story, excuse me. So you're gonna put them in order, Mike got sick, Mike ate a lot of cake, yada yada, okay? Here's some sounds, and this is for vowel sounds. So you have the short A, the long A, and then R as in car. And he can get those from the story as well. Write a sentence using one word from each column. Okay, here we have some word family for old, and it just says write the word old. So you've got told, fold, mold, cold, hold, and sold. And then you put those words here in the story. Um, who owns it? Again, so now we're gonna be working on apostrophe S. Uh, we did this in first grade too, so this is a really great review. It should be familiar to them to be able to write Dad's Grill, Lee's Kite, Mike's Hot Dog. And then we move on to the next story, okay? So let's see, that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six pages um, along with the story. So six activities with the story. So. You could do one a day plus one, um, or you could carry it over into a second week, you know, however you wanna um, divide it up. But this particular one has six activities, okay? Here's Max, my, my dog Max. Super cute pictures, and it comes over to the second page. It's a really great length for him, okay? Your standard questions. Uh, reading comprehension, and then we move over to some more vocabulary and language arts. So again, we've got short vowel practice, um, putting the story in order. This is a cut and paste page, 
and you'll see that it's not um, blank on the other side. So you would need to duplicate this page or have your student draw lines or maybe put numbers down here if you don't wanna cut it out. Um, but that is one little note that you're gonna wanna make sure you're aware of. Here's some matching. Here's a new sound, the sound for TH. And then pronouns, she, let's see, he, his, she, her, and him, okay? So for the second unit, they're all purple. It keeps it all together. It's really nice. And you have one, two, three, four, five, another six activities for that, okay? So let me just flip through here these pages really quick and you can get an idea of what you will have in this resource. All right, here at the end, just like this, uh, the other pre-K book, you've got this tracking form. Again, you can color them in or you can put stickers. These long blocks typically are the stories. Um, they just put them at the end there because it's, you know, like this one goes from 11 to 15, but this doesn't, the next one doesn't have six activities. It only has two activities for both Little Monkey and the Five Furry Kittens. Um, also, kind of I'll throw in here at the end, you'll notice that the elephant story and the visit at, to the Monterey Bay Aquarium were both nonfiction stories. So um, the Ugly Dunkling is a fable. So that's kind of fun that they've thrown in not just stories, but um, some other types of stories as well. Of course, at the end here, we've got the answer key, so you can check your child's work as they progress through the, um, the book. And then we're at the end of the story here, okay? All right, so once again, I'm really excited about using this resource. I think it's gonna be a really great addition to our reading because last year, or for our first grade year, I was really struggling at trying to get him to read consistently, 15 minutes a day or 10 minutes a day even. Um, we have our read alouds, so I thought that that was a good kind of supplement, but this I think is gonna be a great resource to kind of fill in those blanks, as well as giving him some language arts practice that are related to the story or poem that he just finished. So I think that's really great. Now, if you don't know, um, Evan Moore has come out with homeschool bundles curriculum bundles that are going to be really a fantastic resource if you're looking for an inexpensive way to either do one particular subject or a whole grade level worth of work very similar to some of the big publishers that have like bundled kits or boxed curriculum that you can purchase. Evan Moore has now tried to create a really cohesive and um, and comprehensive study of you can either do it just from one particular subject or you can do it through the whole course load for your student at grades, you know, any grade level that you're looking for, whether it's preschool up through sixth grade. So I highly recommend you looking into Evan Moore. I've really started to put a lot of our curriculum from the Evan Moore publishers because they have, I didn't even know really that they existed until I started like picking through some of their stuff at a curriculum fair. Um, and then they were at a convention that I went to. So it's been a really great resource. I encourage you to look over there, check the description box below, and I'll put some links down there for your convenience if you want to check those out. Again, this was just the reading but they've got a lot of really great stuff. They've got science and language arts and math and uh, science, did I say that? Critical thinking, geography, history. Um, I'm gonna be doing some other videos, so make sure you check my playlist so that you can see other look in the book videos for other curriculum, both from Evan Moore as well as other publishers that I've selected for our homeschool journey. So anyway, thanks so much for checking in, guys. Hopefully we'll catch you in another video. Bye.